It's a boy. It was expected to be a baby announcement like no other, steeped in centuries-old British royal traditions. A jealously guarded secret released via a Bolton, driven from a hospital to a palace, framed and placed on a royal easel, and only then displayed for the world to see. But this time in 2013, the celebratory announcement that Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, had given birth to a healthy baby boy came via email. With all the pomp and formalities coming shortly thereafter, and ABC's Lama Hassan was there. The waiting is over. It's a boy, a future king, eight pounds and six ounces, set to be Britain's 43rd sovereign. A nation rejoices. It's a boy. <laughs> As soon as the announcement was made, people rushed here in their hundreds, and you can hear them cheering. And this is what we've been hearing earlier today. Now, the easel has been placed on the forecourt of Buckingham Palace, and everywhere I turn, it's either cheers or people are singing God Save the Queen. Others are singing Happy Birthday. Everyone here is ecstatic, carrying either a glass of champagne or holding their cell phones high to capture this momentous occasion. Famous London landmarks proclaim the news, fountains turn blue. The new father let it be known that, quote, we could not be happier. And the prime minister spoke for the country. It's a wonderful moment for a warm and loving couple who got a brand new baby boy. The president and the first lady also wished them all the happiness of parenthood and, quote, the American people are pleased to join with the people of the United Kingdom as they celebrate the birth of the young prince. In keeping with tradition, the news was displayed in a bulletin posted in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace. The crowds rushed to see for themselves. But in a break with tradition, a statement was first released to the press. On the hottest day of the year, the anticipation had reached a fever pitch. The Duchess of Cambridge gave birth at 4.24 in the afternoon. They had kept it under wraps for four hours here at the Lindo Wing of London St. Mary's Hospital or the limbo wing, as it was previously called, in the very same suite that Diana, Princess of Wales, gave birth to William 31 years ago. May we see your son, your Royal Highness? The royal baby, who will be known as the Prince of Cambridge, will be third in line to the throne. It's the first time since the days of Queen Victoria when there will be three direct heirs um, alive at the same time as the monarch. Do they have a name yet? I think the name should be David, David Bowie. after David Bowie. Just around dawn this morning, uh, the Duchess of Cambridge. All this under the watchful glare of the world's media. William and Kate. The bevalling van Kate Middleton is begonnen. Who've been camped out for days fearful of being caught out just as they were in 1982 when Diana was said to have given a false due date to throw them off. There could be nothing more grim than turning up and just seeing that sea of photographers' ladders, people standing up there just thinking, oh no, and now I've got to go through labour as well. I, I think she, I hope she gets smuggled in via some sort of laundry chute. She actually came in through a back entrance 24 hours ago, just before 6am, arriving by car amid a thunderstorm. Storm. The baby was delivered by this man, Dr. Marcus Setchell, the Queen's gynecologist, no less. The couple attended prenatal classes from renowned teacher Christine Hill, who described Kate as, quote, delightful and pronounced that William will do the right stuff on the day. Bookies, too, have been busy as well. It's seriously busy. I mean, we've got 16 markets available at the moment, and the big ones are the date, when the baby will arrive, and the name. I don't think they're going to go with something like Cadence or North. Most were betting that it would be a girl. Alexandra is the current favourite, but Charlotte's been very busy in the last few days, and interestingly, Diana. Hello, Uncle Harry. Yeah, it's me, heir apparent. Raw baby, you know, Kate and Wills. Kate and Wills kid. What? You're playing billiards and you've lost your trousers. Again. All this relegates Uncle Harry to a distant fourth in line to the throne, a role it seems he's been practicing for. I'm sure he's in the classic uncle mode of someone who's a friend but doesn't really have to take any real responsibility. You kind of want him to take you out and get you drunk when you're about 14. I'm sure that, you know, when that child has to take its first precious steps into the world of nightclubbing, Prince Harry will be there every step of the way like the helpful uncle he is. Meantime, another royal arrival, 
Prince Charles tonight said how proud he was to be a grandfather. Number two. So what does one get the new baby and the new parent? Well, the Finnish government thoughtfully provided this standard maternity package that all Finnish mothers get, complete with diapers, clothes and condoms. For $20,000, one could buy this 19 karat gold bracelet that has, wait for it, a pseudocrem holder for a diaper rash. All this, of course, will create an avalanche of royal baby souvenirs. Up to 14 million are expected to be sold. So what can we expect? We decided to consult an expert. For the last 30 years, Margaret Tyler has amassed over 10,000 pieces of royal memorabilia, turning her house into a royal shrine. Come on in. I want to show you my new baby things. I am beyond excitement about this baby. Margaret has had to clear a space just for baby Cambridge. And this is a copy of the royal christening dress. Is it the exact copy? Yes, that's how Prince William was uh, christened in a dress like that. So that is a copy of that. That is Prince William, as it were. And so baby Cambridge will presumably, presumably be wearing... Yes, I would think so. Like Does he look a bit freaky to you? <laughs> no, well, I've got used to him, I guess. <laughs> I wake up in the night, I can't sleep the whole night now. I have to forget the news on... William won't be getting much sleep either, but he will get two weeks paternity leave before returning back to base, where he works as a Royal Air Force rescue pilot. William was by his wife's side the whole time, but he was seen here last week playing polo in a charity polo match with his brother, possibly getting some fatherly advice in the process. Someone who knows the impact of a little one in the royal household is Patrick Jepson, former secretary to Diana. It is a job of work. The people who are there to support William and Kate and baby Cambridge, uh, for them this is a professional challenge. There's going to be a lot of personal sentimental interest too. So uh, pretty exhausting days for them. They're going to be hoping everything works smoothly. And at the same time they're going to be sharing in the excitement of this very happy event. Severe morning sickness hospitalized the Duchess last December, forcing the couple to reveal the pregnancy earlier than they wished. Once the cat was out of the bag, the world's lenses lowered their focus. Her last solo engagement was to launch this ship last month before attending the Queen's official birthday celebration. Tonight, the new great-grandmother is asleep behind me at Buckingham Palace, one of the future residents of the new prince, but he'll have to wait a while. Both mother and the new prince are said to be doing well and hopefully getting some rest too.